Then we're just going to read. We will get started at our final uh, budget workshop before we get into deliberations. We're going to go over the whole budget, um, wastewater municipal, and uh, also the capital plan. Uh, first, though, I'll go to the manager to discuss an overview of the changes uh, that we're seeing. So, you, Mr. Manager. Uh, well, so you'll see on the revised uh, the, the FY23 budget report changes document that was created. Uh, we'll see the changes implemented that we had talked about over the course of the uh, process here. Uh, most recent changes to that, uh, we had identified a need for uh, cell phone to be added to the plan um, to, for Evan, the uh, code enforcement officer is running into a situation where he needs it, it's his personal phone more often than, than can comfortably in the field. So we're gonna be getting him a plan to get him a cell phone uh, for purposes. Um, again, most of these changes have to do with <clears throat> the increased cost in fuel. Uh, most recently, we talked about the uh, increase in pay for uh, the waste hauler. Really going in and out with this microphone. Is that is your battery close to being dead? Or? No, it's, uh, oh, it's pretty full. <clears throat> um, so we adjusted that hourly wage in there. And then, of course, some. Um, related cost increases for that. We also have the uh, power cuts, um, the five-year lease. We have that addition on this list. Um, that's just about, that's about it at this point. We have some options for building into the budget. Um, a restricted amount of money for um, for the reval for early next spring uh, that we'll go over later in the presentation. Um, and potential opportunity for uh, the economic development funds. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Any uh, initial thoughts on the overview there from the council? All right, seeing none, uh, we'll just start with wastewater, wastewater revenue. And seeing no comment, we'll go to wastewater expense. It'll be all three pages. We'll see on this we have the um, addition of uh, that we spoke about last week for increased cost of internet connection here to have a reliable um, 21st century type speed. Thank you. Councilor Gray? Yeah, just for clarification. <clears throat> for clarification, um, the difference of the uh, basically um, $90,000 goes into the wastewater reserve account. The revenues are 1.4. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a reduction. And we're, the expenses are 1.3. What's the difference of uh, 800,000? You're, you're questioning the reduction of the revenues on the wastewater side? Well, yeah. I understand the reduction of the revenues, but the budget ends up being uh, sort of total revenues versus the cost is a difference of around 750,000, I think. 
Well, I mean, but FY, for FY23, I, I guess I don't understand what your comparison means. But FY23, the revenue is a 2.1 million and the expenses are 2.1 million. Okay, you're right. I'm reading the uh, 22, 23 line first with the 23 budget. My, my error again. As you count, Ray. The other council comment on revenue or expense on wastewater. Seeing none. Go page by page on the uh, revenue side of the town. Starting with stage one, which is Department 101, 103, 104, General Government, Elections, Registrations, Town Clerk Department. And seeing none, moving over to page two. Department 107 assessing, 108 municipal building, 114 planning co-development, 115 economic development. And seeing none, moving over to page three. Department 201, police department, 203, fire department, 204, ambulance. Uh, for the clarification to the public, which I don't see any public on here, but nevertheless, uh, the, um, where do we list the contract for the policing department versus the expenditures of what we have for, for coverage of law enforcement? Do we make a correlation between the two? This is revenue right now. Yeah. It's been a rough week. <laughs> <laughs> But it will be in the uh, police line budget as the contract now when we get through expense. Any other council comment? Page three. Seeing none, moving on to page four. Department 209 insurances, 300 fringe benefits, 402 public works administration, 407 public works roads and construction, and 409 transfer site. And seeing none, page five, department 815 general assistance, 816 public health welfare agency, 902 cemetery, 1002 recreation, 1009 snow sled and ATV program. I've got a question regarding you. Don't, don't we have an order that uh, the snow sled program is going to be you know, hundreds of thousands today? I believe it's that they're applying for that grant. No. It's, it's not money we have or is budgeted for, but it's a uh, right, grant we, funding we, that would be coming through as a passer. Yeah, may end up being next year. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Councilor Peltier. Seeing no other comment, moving on to page six. Department 1101, Airport Operations, 1102, Airport Business, 1106, Holiday Observation and Events, 1300, Capital Improvements, 1301, Special Capital Improvements. And also seeing none, we will move to the expense. Starting on page one, Department 101, General Government. Seeing none, page two, Department 103, Elections and Registrations, Department 104, Town Clerks.
Also seeing none. Hey, Councilor Frank. Uh, I'll raise what I just want to raise it again. We always seem to end up in this where we have to hold a special election for approval of the school board meeting. And tried to advocate that we council try to get the school committee and the council to do the budget so that when the June primary comes along, that the town's people could vote on the approval or acceptance of the school budget. At least something for the next council to worry about, that type of thing. But I just want to, we pay for that one special election every year for the school budget because nobody ever gets their work done in time. Thank you. Thank you, Council Bray. But that's a, that's a very good point. And as, uh, as Councilor Pelletier has pointed out recently, uh, school is actually required to submit their budget by May 1st, according to our charter. So we will at, um, try to have a stronger uh, position on that in this year. So I think I might to the council just to clarify. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Seeing no other comment on page two, moving on to page three, apartment 107 assessing. And Mr. Manager, is this where you want to uh, potentially speak to the revaluation or is that a different section? Well, um, not necessarily. It, Mary Alice could probably explain it in a little more uh, detail, but the idea is to use a portion of the um, of the overage in, in revenue sharing funding from this year that'll be moved into next year and we could restrict it to be um, used towards the reval. Uh, $100,000, I believe. Am I doing that, Justin? Uh, that would be the, the plan. So it wouldn't be, you know, in as an expense. Any thought on that from the council? Councilor Pelt Council here. We can't uh, show it in the in the budget until it's actual revenue to us. So we're going on good faith here that the, when it shows up, we've got that much kind that kind of money earmarked for that purpose. I believe we already have the funds currently that was overage from this year, if that's correct. Yes, Mary Alice is nodding in the affirmative. Well, then we, already, what, we already have the funds. It was a, a amount surplus to what we had budgeted for. Then why wouldn't we restrict the funds now during this budget process? Mary Alice? Yes, I mean, that's what basically we're recommending is where we have received $300,000 more than what we budgeted for this year on revenue sharing, we could have an order right now that, um, you know, that, that reserves 100,000 of those funds uh, for the reval purposes. Yeah, I'd like to see that happen. I, <clears throat> I think the idea was to uh, discuss it in budget workshop um, and then, you know, look to bring it at one of the next couple of council meetings, potentially June 9th. Thank you, Mr. Manager. It seems there's agreement that that should be on an order. So thank you for that. Any other thoughts on uh, page three assessing? Seeing none, moving on to page four. Department 108 Municipal Building, 109 Audit, 111 Legal Expenses. You'll see the increases here on uh, legal expenses that we discussed throughout the budget workshops. We had increased that um, up to $100,000 at request of council. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Seeing no comment, Council Craig. In reference to legal cost and uh, the continuation of um, challenges by Brookfield to assessment, 
Um, we've still got two years to go with ongoing to mediation. Is there any expectation of additional costs through that mediation process? Uh, I don't know what to expect from, from that cost. It could be very little, it could be a very large amount. We, we, we really don't have a way to predict that right now. If I may, my concern here is that um, in, in discussion about going into mediation and coming with a settlement um, based upon some of the claims by Brookfield as to where that assessment was assessed with, which they reported one way, but it, part of it's in the town and part of it's out of the town. There could be a significant payback uh, out of that. We're not building anything in for that consideration. Hopefully it doesn't happen, uh, but, uh, and we've had success, but I think there's some concerns going forward that that's been corrected on what they file. There may be a different assessment as to what the town might owe them back taxes for previous years. Are we taking any consideration uh, of that, of those funds that might be necessary? <clears throat> Suggestions that I have heard regarding that are more in line with um, bonding that as a debt, um, the potential dollar amount there would be a major impact to the municipal budget and the tax rates. Well, I, I suspect that we could, uh, um, since they're a major taxpayer, any settlement they're paying a proportion of it is a multi-year agreement of if there has to be an adjustment that they get it not in one lump sum but over several years which would look which would lower their cost as well but they'd get eventually get the full credit for the sure i i there's it's it's such an unknown at this point i don't know if we can realistically build it to budget Since we have nobody from the public here. However, the meeting is recorded a, and then posted uh, online. You had a suggestion that you want potentially seconded on the line for legal expenses? I want to have a better understanding of potential liability that we might have there we might need to account for in a budget process. I can so tell between you now and, and maybe the next meeting, we could have uh, a status or what that cost might be. If we are planning on having our assessor join us on June 9th for the council meeting, and uh, thank that, you, that is planned. Yes. Thank you, Council Gray. Any other council comment on page four? Seeing none, page five, department 112 administration. Seeing none, moving on to page six, department 114 planning code. Also seeing none, moving on to page seven. Department 115 Economic Development and 118 Community Initiatives Director. I believe uh, Councilor Medora, and there was a second, made a motion on one of these lines, beautification, I think it was, on adding in. Yeah, there was there was some discussion there. I put my hand up momentarily. Uh, the suggestion, I believe, was that uh, wanted to see twenty five thousand dollars had to somewhere in the economic development section. Uh, what we've realized recently is that we do have funding coming back on a CDG 
uh, a local CVBG arrangement uh, with funding that is being has been being paid back to us. Uh, and we do have that allotment of funding um, that could potentially be available. I think we um, are in agreement that we need to revisit the structure for the approach of uh, making that funding available. Um, and I believe it's it's uh, somewhere between 40 and $50,000 um, that we would that we would be able to use in this area to some extent, but but not necessarily built in. Am I saying that correctly? I guess I guess I wasn't clear. Like for the twenty five thousand, what exactly was it for? Was it for revolving loans or was it for grant match? Or I wasn't quite clear what the purpose was. Twenty five thousand. Yeah, Council Medor suggested that it be set aside for potential grant match or other projects for beautification or other economic development. Okay, then speaking. Uh, with CDBG, there, there we found where there was a revolving loan fund program uh, back quite a few years ago. So that would be a source potentially if you wanted to get into a revolving loan situation. That CDBG uh, grant, uh, I mean, with the CDBG fund. So I guess we just wanted to kind of put that on the table and sort through it to see. That was an opportunity. Then, what you looking for in this line for something that's not a revolved loan? Yeah, I, I don't want to speak for him. Uh, probably in deliberations, we can discuss that further. But uh, I know that it was not for a revolving loan fund. Is not what oh. he was suggesting. I'm okay. assuming those funds you're referring to are limited to that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So then, is it twenty five thousand? Yes. Yeah. That's the number. Okay. Thank you. Any other comment from the council, Councilor Peltier? Yeah, I just wanted to make a little bit of a clarification on that original CDBG uh, loan amounts, uh, uh, grant amounts that ended up being a revolving loan. Uh, that quickly went down the drain back then as uh, the town wasn't really, I don't know, interested in keeping track of loans or doing that kind of administration. And within a year or two, all that money was granted out. Thank you, Councilor Peltier. Any other comment on page seven? I, I'd like, I, I just got one more question. So, as far as within economic development, do you want me to put 25000 in beautification project, or what's the heading? What's the budget heading? I believe we discussed having a new line. Um, and, yep, seem to remember that right. Yep. Okay. A new line under Department 115 that would be for yeah matching funds or something of the sort economic development. Mr. Chairman, Council Danforth. Yeah, I remember that as well. I don't want it to be specific that um, that we do have the opportunity for matching funds because a lot of times you have to show that you have you know a percentage of matching funds. But also, if there's a small project that we wanted to take on. Um, under economic development that that funding is there. So yeah, not to just say that would be one um, use of it. So as far as Mary Alice, what you're looking for, I guess it's uh, economic development yeah, project. That would work. Yeah, but, yeah. Nice and broad. Thank you. Any other council comment? Seeing none, moving on to page eight. Here's your page, Councilor Prey, Department 201, Police Department, and 202, DARE Program. And seeing none, moving on to page nine. Department 205, Fire and Ambulance. And I'm assuming uh, there were two motions, two separate motions the last meeting on how to do the uh, additional um, positions. There was one for adding an additional employee and creating an assistant chief position and one 
motion and second for doing just an assistant chief position. I'm assuming those are not reflected in here. They're not. Uh, the impression that Mary Ellis and I both shared was that um, with the likelihood of struggle finding applicants to fill those positions that we not take the chance in raising taxes for that position, but approach it um, uh, from another angle if we are able to fill the position. Thank you. We could have more of a discussion on that during deliberation. Any other comment on page nine? Seeing none, moving on to page 10. Councilor Pray. Just to clarify, make sure, Tom, you understood that, what we just talked about on the three positions? I guess I know. The idea was that we, was that we would, uh, two positions for sure, and that we'd use reserve funds and stuff. We'd have over all three as they, as they came on and we'd, Either use other funds to, but to go for all three, but to budget for two and try to find the third one because, from what you said, it would take some time to get them. So we're going to be a couple of months into the program, so we're budgeting for a full year. Our budget, we're going to leave the way it is, correct? The twenty-three budget. We're going to put money aside so I can start looking. Correct. Exactly. The way I, I the way I understood it was I know that one of the suggestions was we leave the budget the way it is and we reserve for an assistant in the event that you found a candidate. So my motion, at least, um, and again I'll let Councilor Medor speak to his, but I can tell you what I think it was, was to raise the funds and to put it in the budget just for the assistant chief. And if additional positions are filled uh, for the other employees for the department, then that can be raised through the restricted funds that you're referring to. I believe Councilor Medor suggested doing that, but also raising funds for an additional position as well, on top of the vacant one that we have budgeted already. Did I remember that correctly? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Um, we need to put um, funding in for an assistant chief. Both you and Councilor Major, that was an agree that part was an agreement. Yeah. Thank you. And I believe he also wanted to, to budget for an additional uh, position as well on top of the vacant one. So two positions budgeting for this budget that would be raised in taxes. I suggested only raising for the assistant chief position. Councilor Gray? I guess what I'd like to have from Tom is what's more important, an assistant chief or two additional people? I would think the two additional people, and obviously because Tom's youthful desire to retire, uh, we need a somebody that's in there and in the system learning to run and manage the system, similar to what we've done to uh, the wastewater and other departments. Correct? That's my understanding of what you want. What I want, if you want to know what I want again, I want three positions. I want three four firefighters for the floor, plus the one I've got over to go back to two men on a ship. I don't want anybody there alone. If you give me an assistant chief and two positions, I'll make it work. Whatever we end up with, I'll make work. I'll have to do work it around how, how that would work. But I think Excellent. the general consensus was that we're fine with additional positions. It's just how we raise the funding for it. So whether we raise it for taxes now, all of it now, or a portion of it now, uh, or if we restrict some funds for it for when the position is filled. So I think we're all in agreement that we want to fill additional positions. It's just how it's funded. Thank you. Yep. Well, we will make those adjustments for the first. Well, there were the two motions that I discussed. So one is raising additional funds for just an assistant chief. 
And then the other motion was raising funds for an assistant chief plus one extra position. So out of the two of those, I think we need direction. That's what we will decide in deliberations. So when that meeting is scheduled after it's gone in the public hearing, that's when we'll make that decision. Okay. Yeah. So when we bring a revised budget to the first hearing of this, we have neither option in there or we have both options in there. Can't have both on Can't the same doc. Um, how does the council feel about that? Council Prey? Yeah, uh, I, th I think what we were talking about is how we budget for it. Uh, we've already talked about using 100,000 of the 300,000 extra. So we got we still have 200,000 in the additional revenue and we still have the rest of the month of May and June, which I suspect will be additional revenues over and above that. So the, the 300,000, will probably come up 340, something like that, somewhere in that range, maybe less or more. But but there'll be some monies there that we can try to fund these additional positions and, we're, and we've got to budget a position and, and put it into the tax base because we're having additional positions that we have to go forward with and raise it. Uh, we've got this whole talk of valuation, we've got the assessor, uh, talking about raising the, the valuation based upon commercial uh, commercial property sales in Mill Market has had three good years. So there's going to be a natural increase in valuation, which would lower the tax base, but also the question is it increases revenues uh, because people's houses are be, being valued at more. I'm not sure where we are in that formula yet as to what that does for the mill rate and how much money we, we raise. The assessor would make that determination based upon the budget we passed. Uh, so I see additional things being available to fund these. Positions. Thank you, Councilor Gray. Councilor McEwen. Um, I just think when it comes to putting a line in, or well, adjusting the budget for the next revision, seems this is a you're either going to have a base, and then we're going to have a vote to amend that with an additional value, or it, it's probably appropriate just to have the original budget and have the two options like we've done in the past and then add deliberations. We will make that change, but just know what that suggested change would be for the budget. If there's going to be an either or, I would I would suggest the base value and then have an addition, but I know there's two different positions that a chief working in. I don't know how that's going to break, necessarily break down in your calculations. But you're picking up what I'm putting down. Well, I think the one area that Councilor Maduro and I agreed on was having the assistant chief position budgeted in. So perhaps that can be budgeted in for your next uh, uh, draft and then provide the cost of what it would be for the additional position on top of that. Would that work? Clear as mud, sir. <laughs> Clear as mud. <laughs> no, I think, I, I yeah. I, because that's an area that we already agree. I feel it's easier to just show what that would be, build it into the budget. I did see Councilor Peltier. Thank you. Councilor Peltier? Yeah, uh, I, I certainly believe that we should uh, budget for the assistant position and at least one of the uh, needed firefighters. Uh, you know, whether, and keep keep it down uh, to a, le a lower estimate if, if uh, do, doing the assistant chief as part of a, a union job would make that less expensive than I would say we could do that to try to save some of the mill rate, which is my opinion. Well, as Councillor McEwen pointed out, we could just keep it exactly as it is right now, which is what I understand you saying, Councillor McEwen, and then just provide the two different options. Whatever the base is. What I was saying is that in deliberations past, we've actually got like a list of what the deliberations were at deliberations and then with what they, those adjustments would do the budget and then the, the changes happen. But there were some changes that happened in the budget that you know didn't require deliberations necessarily from the council, like more administrative shifts in the budget like have happened before. So I my, my thought, because there are two options, there's two different deliberations that were motioned that whatever the base budget was before those suggestions were put in and I know we have a fact sheet for how those changes are going to get in there we could wait till deliberations to make any changes on this department since there are two different 
drastic changes. And I see the treasurer nodding her head like that. So I think that would be most it, appropriate. It's quite, right, it's quite detailed for, for me to go and put all those, I will do what you want, but to put those in and then have to unravel it. It's much easier to handle it at a higher level. Sure, everyone okay with that? Thank you, thank you, Councilor McEwen. Any other comment on page nine? Seeing none, moving on to page 10, 203 Fire Department. Seeing none, moving on to page 11, 204 Ambulance. Seeing none, moving on to page 12. 206, community services, 209, insurances, 213, enforcement officials. Seeing none, page 13, 214, dog constable, 300, fringe benefits. Seeing none, page 14. Yeah. Council Gray? Yep. Um, what are we calculating for pay raises to employees? I'm, I'm going back to French benefits. 3%? 3%. Um, I'm looking at the uh, increase in Social Security, Medicare, and those. That's all calculated at the 3% increase. I mean, the benefits are now part of the department. So, but yes, the benefits change. I mean, on the payroll taxes, the workers' comp, um, yes, on those type of benefits that are payroll dependent. Main PERS, it was the 3% is factored into that. Um, I just noticed on the uh, previous page, talk about contractual work that we have done such as the uh, electrical inspector, uh, and of course we have the dog constable. There's no increases were put into those, or did you also add the 3%? For the dog constable, the 3% is in there. The electrical inspector, it's not. That's a stipend that get, gets paid, what, a set rate every month. They're both contractual, correct? They're not, neither one of them is an employee, they're a contract. Well, well they, they're paid through payroll. So we do pay their the payroll tax and we pay workers' comp. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor Bray. Any comments on page 14? 402 Public Works Administration, 403 Garage Maintenance. Seeing none, page 15, department 407, public works, roads and construction. Mr. Manager. We did receive two, thinking now I may not have forwarded you those documents, but we did receive two, um, two options to decrease the paving budget from Ralph, uh, one option dropped it to roughly $199,000. The other option dropped it to um, $215,000. That's correct. Um, you can likely pull up that list, um, have it screen shared up there if you'd like. Thank you, yeah.
Somebody want to hum some hold music? <laughs> A lot of junk in there. <laughs> no, the uh, the actual, you know, other folder that's a lot of advertisements and junk shows up in the unread. Uh, Ralph, once I get this uh, shared, do you mind speak to the changes? Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to screen share it on this giant wall over here. I can make copies of it. So this is option one um, over whatever changes like. Yes. Yep, I'm working on it. So option one, we took some streets out, obviously. Some of the streets we had to leave in because we need to pave them. There's some that's in pretty bad shape. So I tried to take do these by priority and keep the spark in the in. So, so on on this first one, we have the you know like um, Crestview Circle is moved as uh, well as High Street. So that brings the cost down from two eighteen to one forty six. Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm, I'll be, no, you don't see the original value here, uh, but if Mr. Manager, could you expand column J and that should, yeah, it should bring it in if you don't mind. There it is. Oh, sure. Thank yeah. you. Sir. Yeah. Nice trick. So I try to give you two options on what we can do to reduce it because I know that was it's only for taking some sidewalks out as well. Uh, and the total with the removal of those options, uh, you'll see at the bottom, decreases from 358,000 to 199. option two here as well. Yeah, option two has got some different streets. It's got some of the same, but there's a few different streets in there. And uh, option two, 183 originally, so I'll try to drop that down. That'll be 129, Still going to do the Spartan phase. Any thoughts from the council on the two options? Councilor McEwen? Quite honestly, I, I was okay with the original budget and getting all the streets repaired, but that's just my opinion on it. I do appreciate the work you've done to split up the other options. That was just my original opinion, and I, that's where it stands. Yep. The only thing we don't know is what the price per ton is going to be. This is just an estimation. So that, that seems to be changing every couple of weeks. So probably going to have to meet with the paving crew and have them review the streets to get an accurate thing. Could be, could be a little more. I think it's going to be nail less. Thank you, Ralph. Everyone else okay with the Yes, Councilor Bragg? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm in the same boat as Councilor McEwen. I, I was okay with the original. Um, I think there are a lot of streets that are in desperate need, and I, I'd rather get it done all at once than and stretch out longer than it needs to be. Okay, we'll, we'll just have to pick an option if you want to do option one or option two. Well, I think the idea is that we would keep it to the original plan and not go with either of these options. 
Okay, that's what I'm hearing so far. Councilor Price. Ralph, when you came on board, we were what, in our seven year cycle? Yeah, well, it's more or less eight or nine years. Streets, the, the DOT, once they pay the street or we pay the street, it's like a 10 year lifespan. And we were going about seven or eight years. And we're up to about nine or 10 now. Oh, we've got some streets that haven't been paved in 20 years or better. But that's because they're the breakdown hasn't been as bad as some others. Right. And it's a prioritizing by, annually. And we go by priority. We concentrate downtown, work our way out. So you'll notice some of the back streets haven't been touched for quite a while. Thank you. Yeah. Well, there's been no motion to change it. So it seems uh, we'll keep with the original budget. Yeah. But appreciate the work that you did on this to try and keep costs down. Right. Last year, just to give you uh, an idea, it was $74.25 a ton. It's up, it's up over 100. Could be 115, could be 120. So, Thank you, Ralph. It's not going to get as much done. <laughs> Thanks, Ralph. Seeing no other comment on page 15, moving on to 16. And just noting it's uh, 452. Councilor Bragdon. Page 16 is 409 transfer site. And seeing none, we got a page 17, 501 library, 700 debt and interest. Also seeing none, page 18, 815 general assistance, 816 public health welfare. Also seeing none, page 19, 902 cemetery. Also seeing none, page 20, 1002 Recreation, 1009 Snow Sled and ATV Program. Oh no, the mic itself. Okay, it's off. Well, Muted. We're hearing your echo, <laughs> so it's clearly not. Oh, now it's muted. Now okay. It's muted, yeah. <laughs> Those are two different things, but okay. Any comment on page 20? Seeing none, moving on to page 21. Department 1101 Airport Operations, 1102 Airport Business. Seeing none. And page 22, Department 1106 Holiday Observation and Events, one, uh, 1300 Capital Improvements, 1301 Special Capital Improvements, 1201 County Tax. And seeing none. And last but not least, that brings us to the five year capital plan. I'll mention on the uh, public works portion of this, um, the most recent quotes that we're seeing on the need for that replacement of trash trailers are uh, well up over $100,000, I believe. Ralph, can you verify that? Yeah. 
I'm not, I, I believe we're exploring a local option for that as well that may that cost. Yeah, so on the replacement of the trash trailer, that's gone from 96,000 to 106. That's $10,000 increase just, um, just in the last couple of weeks. So price of steel, everything's gone up. So we're looking at a different option altogether and uh, talk to Jeff Pellet here, here in town, Bellevue Manufacturing, and see if they could build us a trailer. I haven't got that information back yet, so I don't know what that price is going to be. Still working on that. So hopefully we can do better right here locally. And if that works, these Molinockets going to need a trailer too. So there'll be plenty of business. They can build it. Next year, we're going to be in line for another trailer. We get two trailers and we'll go over 10, 12 years old. So have to wait and see if he can do it. Thank you, Ralph. Any questions from the council? And on the other side of that, the, <clears throat> there's another two other. Uh, <clears throat> decreases from the original version of that this year with the uh, when we were doing the research on new plow uh, slash dump trucks uh, we were able to find a local option to build uh, the bodies on that so decreasing from I believe the original number in there was 350,000 down to uh, 25,000 a piece rough uh, that work to be done locally. Yeah, the trucks are the 2006s. The biggest issue with them is the rust. So after a while, the sander units and the bodies rust out. And the uh, rest of the, the chassis itself is still, we can still get by four or five years if we have to. The other issue is we can't wait a year and a half to two years to get a new truck anyway. We gotta get this work done. So just to look for a different option. They're a year and a half to two years out on new trucks. They don't even know if they can get on this one. Well, I appreciate the innovation so, there and looking at the rebuild. Yeah, I think that's a good option. It's going to work. So, Thank see. you, Ralph. Okay. Um, I did have a question on the waste oil heater. I think where you currently have it is at the transfer station, right? So you're looking at getting one for the public works. Yeah, right now we have it at public works. Yeah. So we're looking at adding another one. That one we currently have is in the mechanics bay. That area, and we're looking at keeping the rest of the uh, truck bays. It's going to cut down quite a bit on fuel. Um, and uh, you're getting enough. Yeah. Supply yeah. just from the. We get, yeah, we've got plenty of oil. Um, we're getting a lot more used to oil now. So we've got over a thousand gallons right now stored. So that's great. Yeah, we've got plenty. Um, last oil heater we put in was almost eight thousand dollars. We've saved that over the last three years. So it's paid for. Oh so yeah, definitely. It's a no brainer. So. Well, thank you, Ralph. Any other thoughts from the council? Any other comment on the rest of the uh, five-year capital plan? And seeing none, that wraps up our last budget workshop. Next, we'll be doing deliberations. Um, question regarding deliberations. Um, with the difference in timing having the um, hearing for the budget placed in the local newspaper uh, with the 10 day notice. Um, <clears throat> do you want to meet one day of the following week? Uh, or, or do the, I guess the, the, uh, the dates in front of me. Let me pull that up so I can clear to it. The Monday following the council meeting? Well, so the council meeting, we didn't do this reading on the 9th, then 
following council meeting would be the 23rd um, to do the first reading in a special meeting on the 20th, um, similar to what had happened last year, uh, looking at the schedule. Uh, so we could have the deliberation of first reading on the 20th and the and then the second reading and vote on the 23rd. Any thoughts from the council? I personally prefer to do it on the Thursday before the meeting. The 16th? Yeah, uh, the 23rd. 23rd is the council meeting. Yep. So just like we're doing the budget workshop right now, we would do the special hearing before the council meeting. So special meeting and vote in the same day? Unless we have to have two, isn't that right? Correct. All right. So the confusion is um, that the ninth is only eight days um, for it to be open to the public for notification, so it just falls short. So you can do the following Thursday, and you know, as a special meeting for the first public hearing, and you would just read through the um, go through the budget, you know, for the first, and then on the second public hearing on the meeting date. And then after that public hearing, then we would bring in the orders after. <coughs> so you have your choice of that Thursday of the meeting or the Monday prior. Which so we're looking at either anywhere through 14th through the 20th to have a special meeting. <laughs> Let okay. me give you that option. Is there a Can preference I... from the council on that, Council McEwen? Um, I will have a schedule conflict before the 23rd between the, you know. I won't be able to be there on the 23rd one, but don't let my um, me not being there hold up deliberations. If if that's like a last option, I'll be traveling and I will not be available to be in town. Or to move forward, sorry. Thank you, Councilor McEwen. Uh, Councilor Pelletier? Yeah, I think having not having it on uh, a council meeting night is a good idea because uh, we don't know what length of time might be needed where the public will have input. So, you know, trying to limit it to an hour or whatever may not be possible. Thank you. Thank you, Council Peltier. Um, Mr. Manager, did you have a conflict on the 16th? I know that there was a Thursday that you had a board <clears throat> family. So. Uh, the, the Thursday the 2nd, I am okay. trying my hardest to leave available for myself. Yeah. Okay, so 16th then would work for everyone if we did the Thursday before the council meeting. The 16th, I said. Six. 16th. 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 Dig a little deeper. <laughs> so, does that work for everyone? The 16th? That's a good. I may not be available, but like I said, do not let that hold everything up. Thank you. Um, if that's all right with everyone, then um, then we'll do 16th and 23rd. Then. First and second yep. public hearings. Yep. What time on for the special? Should we do uh, 4.30, 5.30 on the 16th? Councilor Bragdon? Personally, I think later is better for everyone as we moved our meetings to 5.30. We should just do our special hearings at 5.30. That makes sense because that would be clear in the ad. Yeah. Work for everyone? Okay, 5.30, yep. Thank you. Thank you. And that wraps it up. See you in half an hour, almost.